today we are going to discuss the most important models and concepts of operations research which is also known as quantitative techniques so we are going to discuss some of the most important aspects which should always be taken care of while preparing for this subject right first of all you must always go through the theoretical aspect although this is a pure practical subject but first of all we must always fortify the introductory part introduction that is the basic part as well as the role and scope the role scope and types of models that are used over here like game theory linear programming decision theory transportation assignment model replacement model simulation monte carlo model and the most important simplex model in linear programming so the role the scope they have as well as the types of various models which are used in this subject then we move on to the next important concept that is linear programming now linear programming is based on solution of linear equations either through graphical model or through simplex model and simplex is the most important concept in this uh, which comprises of both maximization case and minimization case although short notes on duality can also be prepared duality as well as uh you know basics of graphical method graphical where we always select the interior area whenever there are less than equal to constraints and we select the exterior region whenever there are greater than equal to constraints so graphical can also be taken care of but simplex model is the most important and in that to both cases should be prepared both maximization cases as well as minimization cases then comes the next one and that is part and cpm part stands for program evaluation and review techniques cpm stands for critical path method now part practicals as well as cpm practicals are equally important the basic difference between part and cpm should also be taken care of <coughs> part as i said it stands for program evaluation and review techniques these are those techniques which uh, help in calculating the probability of completing the project within a specific time frame ki ek project ke particular time interval mein complete hone ki probability kitni hai so it is a probabilistic model why C uh, cpm critical path method is a deterministic model it doesn't make use of probability probability estimates are made in part practicals part ka full form program evaluation and review techniques it makes use of three time estimates the optimistic time which is the shortest time the pessimistic time which is the longest time of completing the activity and the most likely time which lies somewhere between the optimistic and the pessimistic that is the most likely time lies between the shortest as well as the longest time cpm critical path is basically based on only one time estimate and before executing the project the project manager wants to make sure which are the most critical activities of his project that should be taken special care of so cpm is that model which helps in identifying the critical or in other words the most important activities of the project so practicals on part and cpm along with their differences are very very important now part cpm although one can also look at the crashing we have discussed crashing in our lectures where uh, the project is reduced the costs are reduced क्रैशिंग के अंदर आप न केवल अपने प्रोजेक्ट का टाइम कम करते हैं साथ साथ उसकी कॉस्ट भी कम करते जाते हैं सो बोथ द आस्पेक्ट आर टेकन केयर ऑफ इन क्रैशिंग 
the crashing must also be studied but again the most important concepts are pert and cpn next comes transportation model which is solved in two phases first phase we calculate initial optimum transportation cost either by northwest by least cost method or by vogel's approximation method so vogel's approximation method is the most important one along with modified distribution the u and v model where u variables are used for rows and v variables are used for columns and the optimum solution is derived at so transportation model comprising of various phases various models which are northwest least cost vogels modi method stepping stone model but from all the lot van as well as modified distribution where vogels approximation method to find out the initial cost and the modified distribution to optimize it and to achieve the final cost <clears throat> then you have assignment model assignment model is based on hungarian method hungarian method and in hungarian method maximization case is the most important one where we convert the maximization case into a minimization case by selecting the maximum element and then subtracting all the elements from it and then solve it normally by applying row operation column operation by drawing lines and ultimately assigning the various zeros and finding out the optimum solution so assignment based on hungarian method and in that maximization case is very very important although unbalanced cases where we, we balance the whole table the whole matrix by adding either dummy rows or dummy columns so you can get a mixed case also maximization and unbalanced right so first of all you have to convert the whole case into a minimization case jab bhi maximization case milega pehle aapko usko convert karna padega minimization case mein then later on you can add the dummy to balance if it is not balanced to aapko balance karna padega and then you will have to solve it normally after assignment comes another heavy weight and that is game theory of game theory the questions are generally word problem based comprising of dominance rule or they can be solved by modified dominance rule which is also called as average rule right so the problems could be word problems uh, where you will have to develop the game initially and then you can solve it by applying dominance rule or by modified dominance rule by reducing the bigger game into a smaller game by reducing the rows as well as the columns and then finding out the value of the game either through automatic method or by algebraic method so the basic essence is to find out the value of the game and to identify which player is winning the game there are two players in that game and so can so you can also have you know various short notes on game theory like short notes on dominance rule as well you know if theoretical aspect is taken care of this was you know the practical based problem as far as theoretical aspect is concerned you can get dominance rule which can come under the heading of laws of dominance principles of dominance then you can get a short note on pure strategy then mixed strategy characteristics of game short notes on game pure strategy games are those games involving saddle point where the particular player decides to use only one strategy either to employ a particular row strategy or to employ a particular column strategy all those games in which there is no saddle point where the players they decides to use you know the strategies proportionally all those games involving you know dominance rule automatic method algebraic method 
where the conclusions are in proportions where the players try to employ the particular strategy proportionally you know there could be many proportions like 1 by 5 4 by 5 2 by 5 3 by 5 so all those games where there is no saddle point and where the players try to play with a particular strategy in fixed proportions those are called as mixed strategy games जो दो तरह के गेम्स हैं यहाँ पर प्योर स्ट्रेटेजी गेम्स जहां पर एक पर्टिकुलर प्लेयर एक पर्टिकुलर रो के साथ या उस कॉलम के साथ प्ले करता है जिन गेम्स में सैडल पॉइंट आ जाता है सिंपली वो होते हैं प्योर स्ट्रेटेजी गेम्स जिन गेम्स में सैडल पॉइंट अचीव नहीं हो पाता है वो होते हैं मिक्स्ड स्ट्रेटेजी गेम्स राइट जहां पर आंसर आपके प्रपोर्शन में आते हैं अगर आपने नोटिस किया हो वन बाई फाइव आया फोर बाई फाइव आया इसका मतलब पहला प्लेयर फर्स्ट स्ट्रेटेजी के लिए वन बाय फाइव यानी ट्वेंटी Uh, अपने रिसोर्सेज एम्प्लॉय करेगा फोर बाई फाइव का मतलब है कि वो एटी परसेंट रिसोर्सेज सेकेंड स्ट्रेटेजी के लिए एम्प्लॉय करेगा सो ऑल दो गेम्स विदाउट एनी सैडल पॉइंट आर गेम्स ऑफ मिक्सड स्ट्रेटेजी देन कम्स द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज डिसीजन थ्योरी नॉट डिसीजन थ्योरी इज बेस्ड ऑन मॉडल्स लाइक एक्सपेक्टेड मॉनिटरी वैल्यू ई एम बी then you have expected opportunity loss uh, denoted by eol and evpi the basic models of decision theory although there are so many models like expected cost models and expected opportunity cost models but expected monetary value expected opportunity loss expected value with perfect information plus theoretical aspect this is the practical part on theoretical aspect you can have you know the difference between difference between decision making under risk and decision making under uncertainty risk or uncertainty matlab risk wale cases wo cases hote hain jahan par aapke paas probabilities nahi hoti hain uncertainty wale cases wo cases hote hain jahan par aapke paas sorry risk wale cases wo cases hote hain jahan par aapke paas probabilities एग्जिस्ट करती हैं तो उन प्रोबेबिलिटीज का यूज करके आप एक्सपेक्टेड मॉनेटरी वैल्यू एक्सपेक्टेड अपॉर्चुनिटी लॉस एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू विद परफेक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन को कैलकुलेट करते हैं लेकिन जो अनसर्टेनिटी वाले केसेस हैं वो वो केसेस होते हैं जहां पर आपके पास प्रोबेबिलिटी एग्जिस्ट नहीं करती है तो आप वहां पर मैक्सिमम मैक्सिमैक्स राइट बेस लाप्लास हॉट्रिक्स क्राइटेरिया मिनिमम क्राइटेरिया मिनिमैक्स रिग्रेट क्राइटेरिया अप्लाई करते हैं टू फाइंड आउट द बेस्ट स्ट्रेटजीज तो आपको ये याद रखना है कि स्ट्रेटजीज डिसीजन मेकिंग अंडर अनसर्टेनिटी के अंदर तो प्रोबेबिलिटीज का यूज नहीं होता है और रिस्क वाले केसेस के अंदर प्रोबेबिलिटीज का यूज होता है आई रिपीट रिस्क वाले केसेस वो केसेस है जहां प्रोबेबिलिटीज यूज होती है अनसर्टेनिटी वाले केसेस वो होते हैं जहां पर प्रोबेबिलिटीज का यूज नहीं होता है Simultaneously, you can get short notes on decision tree along with its practical states of nature and states of nature and courses of action. Courses of action refer करते हैं उन alternatives strategies को लेकर जो कि decision maker के control में होते हैं स्टेट्स ऑफ नेचर वो फैक्टर्स होते हैं जो डिसीजन मेकर के कंट्रोल में नहीं होते हैं राइट स्टेट्स ऑफ नेचर आर इन कंट्रोल एंड कोर्सेज ऑफ एक्शन आर गोस्ट सॉरी स्टेट्स ऑफ नेचर आर गोस्ट फैक्टर्स विच आर आउटसाइड द कंट्रोल ऑफ अ डिसीजन मेकर एंड कोर्सेज ऑफ एक्शन ये वो फैक्टर्स होते हैं ये वो ऑल्टरनेटिव स्ट्रेटेजीज होती है जो डिसीजन मेकर के कंट्रोल में होते हैं राइट तो डिफरेंस ध्यान रखिएगा स्टेट्स ऑफ नेचर out of control they are not in control and courses of action those factors which are directly in control next you have replacement model replacement model isme dono models dekhne hai standard model bhi time value model bhi along with the theoretical aspect on types of replacement situations types of replacement 
situations. So replacement model theory on types of replacement situations and then simulation. Simulation, the most important problems are related to inventory based problems, queuing problems where you have to calculate the waiting time or idle time. So inventory based problems, inventory based problems or queuing problems along with theoretical part on advantages of Monte Carlo method simulation is based on Monte Carlo techniques so theory on Monte Carlo techniques its advantages and process and limitations so this forms the crux of the most important paper starting with introduction role scope and types you have linear programming where you have got simplex model comprising of both maximization case as well as minimization case taking aspects of various theoretical concepts also which are duality based graphical model ko bhi ek bar halaki dekh le na per and cpm program evaluation to along with simplex you can also add the graphical part graphical part also you cannot you know uh, ignore this particular model as far as linear programming is concerned graphical is very very uh, essential for linear programming because all those problems having two variables which can be solved by using simplex model they can also be solved by graphical model resulting in the same solution then per cpm transportation there are so many models which are not west east cost vogel stepping stone modified distribution but the best combination which one can go for is vogel's approximation method and later on the whole solution can be optimized by modified distribution assignment which is based on hungarian method maximization cases are the most important ones in that game theory word problem based questions which can be solved by applying dominance rule or modified dominance rules theoretical aspects should be taken care of which are laws of dominance or principles of dominance pure strategy games mixed strategy characteristics of game decision theory practicals on emb eol ebti difference between risk and uncertainty risk wale wo cases hote hain jahan par aapko probabilities given hoti hai uncertainty wale cases wo cases hain jahan par aapko probabilities given nahi hogi sath hi sath decision tree both theoretical as well as practical states of nature and courses of action replacement model usme theory on types of replacement situations along with the basic models which are standard replacement model as well as time value based models where you make use of discount rates simulation inventory and queuing problems theory on monte carlo model the process the advantages and the limitations part